buffets in three days. <laughs> and I feel disgusted. That's, we don't recommend doing Do that. not do that, people. Do not do that to yourself. It's bad. It's super bad. But, yeah. Um, so. We did it. We did it. We went to not technically the three best on both Yelp and Google. The top three buffets were El Dorado, Pepper Mill, and the Atlantis. Um, I'm, I'm blanking on the official names of some of those, but they're the buffets at those casinos. Top three on both platforms, and I think the order was El Dorado was number one. We're in the bridge. <laughs> El Dorado was number one on both. I believe Atlantis was number two on both, and Pepper Mill was number three. Um, we were in Reno not terribly long ago, and we went to the Atlantis Buffet, and I think we both agreed it was, it was bad. It was bad. It was not good. Um, yeah. It was pretty expensive, too. So, because we recently had that, and we thought it was terrible, we just admitted that, and we subbed in the GSR Buffet, which was not on the top three on the Yelp and Google Room. But we slid it in there um, in place of the Atlantis, which we didn't think was very good. So, uh, the first buffet we went to was Grand Sierra Resort. So, do we're going to do this, we're going to uh, judge it based on three Vs. Mm -hmm. And then I think the overall quality number as well. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, the basic three yeah. Vs um, is value, variety, and venue. So I think those are like the first three things, you know, as a customer, when you pay for it, you know, how much. Yes, yeah, going variety. to a buffet specific. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, the three Vs is like the basic. Um, it does not include the quality of the food, which we're going to actually Yeah, like. we'll have a separate yeah, score yeah. for that. Uh, so GSR. GSR. Let's start. Value. Value. It's, they're all three about $25 a person. So, value out of 10, what do you rank that? I think an eight. An eight? Yeah. And yeah. <clears throat> the reason I give it the eight is $25 isn't cheap for a buffet. But they did have, and again, we're kind of cheating because we're getting ahead of ourselves. They did have the highest quality food um, of the places. So, if you're spending $25... Um, you, I, anyway, expect some quality food. And they delivered on some things. They have, they do a lot more on-the-spot cooking with the taco bar, with the pho bar, with the pasta bar. Um, I think that alone elevates it um, higher than any of the other ones. Um, I agree. For value, I'll give it 8 out of 10. Um, yeah, I appreciate their built to order um, stations and yeah I don't want to be like I don't want to get ahead of myself but the top if you ever go there get the al pastor tacos <laughs> they're delicious <laughs> yeah they actually carve them on the spot yeah it's yeah. Super legit. It's, it's super legit they actually like hit it they have like a giant um, hot plate and they heat up the meat right there cook it for you so uh, taco is super good. It's, I think it's better than any like Mexican taqueria. Damn. Yeah, that's that's saying a lot. And I think actually I said that it might it's probably like almost as good as El Gordo, but obviously El Gordo is like, super good. So this is like the second best al pastor I've ever tasted in my life. Bold. That's bold. Very, it's a very bold statement. Anyway, so the second okay. week. Uh, yeah, second variety. week. Variety. I think we kind of like touch base on that by saying they have a lot of built to order um, mm -hmm. stations. Their I, dessert bar is amazing. Yeah, I think undoubtedly they have the biggest variety yeah. of uh, any of the other ones we went to. Yeah. Uh, and I don't even know that it's really close. Yeah. It's just. Much better it's, it's just a lot. It's yeah. a lot. I mean, when it comes to like carb meats, it's the basic, you know, for like. I would ham. say in general, it's the basic buffet stuff. They're yeah. not doing a ton it's of like crazy four stuff or here. Five different varieties. Yeah. Um, 
but they section it off by like you know Asian, Asian, uh, yeah, Hispanic, like Mediterranean, area, like meat area, down seafood. home cooking, pasta. <laughs> yeah, there's so, a lot of variety, and the dessert area is pretty big. So yeah, uh, what's your score for variety? Variety, I would score like seven out of ten. No, probably eight out of ten. Okay. Eight I would say eight out of ten because they have like a lot of selection of different food. Okay. Which I'm pretty sure you didn't have any issues because you were being a vegetarian. No. Yeah, um, as a vegetarian, yes, I was the easiest for me to eat at. Again, because uh, like the pasta bar is a huge perk for me. Uh, their salad's decent. Uh, they actually have just a lot of pastas that are good. Uh, their mac and cheese is pretty decent. So yeah, uh, eight out of ten worked for me. And the last category is venue. So venue is gonna. Like it's uh, venue gonna cover service as well. Service and yeah. the ambiance. Yeah. Um, and the I would cleanliness. say, yeah, the GSR is probably ranks last in venue. And the only reason I say that, I mean, the service was fine. There was nothing wrong with the service. Um, but the venue is extremely loud, and you're basically right on top of the casino floor. Um, so, and it's very bright. Uh, Super open. Yeah. Yeah, very open. You can hear like all the machines going off and all like that. Right, it doesn't give you that quaint, like sit down and have a yeah. dinner yeah. vibe. It's very action packed. Um, but service is good. Um, so I think for venue, what do you think, a five or a six? Five, but I think six probably would be fair. Six because the service was good. The service it's was just on the, point. I just didn't like the actual venue. The atmosphere. Yeah, just too loud for me. Too too much going on. Yeah. Okay. So that oh, so now we have to do quality. quality. So quality. Um what do you think? I think quality super good. Uh, like I said, I think because the reason why JSR JSR's quality is ahead of other uh, buffets because like I said they have multiple made to order stations anything that's made to order always like fresh like you can't beat the quality of like a fresh cooked things <laughs> food and um, yeah. also I other like other food that's on a hot plate and all that kind of stuff they don't look as bad as other buffets because some buffets they just don't care they don't rotate their food so they, they, get, uh, they get like super dry on top and you know all the vegetables sometimes like wilted and dark in colors and all that kind of stuff I didn't have any issues with GSR's buffet yeah I would say it's not the highest of qualities compared to something like Bacchanal oh, and yeah. Vegas but for a small town buffet it's better than average uh, so I would say quality is a seven seven is seven is fair seven I think yeah. so it's not like crazy high quality stuff but it, it tastes good and the made to order stuff is really good I, maybe we could bump it to an eight what do you think seven or an eight Probably an eight. So okay, an eight. <laughs> an eight. Say eight. eight. Okay, so that's GSR. Um, and I'll do a nice little graphic here. So, uh, value, eight. Variety, eight. Venue, six. And then quality, eight. So that's, uh, what is that, score of 30 overall? So, 20, yeah. 30 out of 40. It's yeah, pretty 30 good. out of 40, yeah. Yeah, yeah All right, good. cool. Uh, day two, we Wait, visited. so GSR are getting our stamp of approval. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, GSR gets the Fleischer stamp of approval. <laughs> All right, uh, on day two, we visited. What did we visit? El Dorado. Uh, El Dorado. Yeah. El Dorado Casino's Buffet. And again, I don't know the I don't actual name. The name, name yeah. I think I have maybe have some footage. I'm putting it right now. Like, yeah. 
Um, it was rated the highest of all of the buffets, so I went in with relatively high expectations. Um, let's start with, I think starting yeah. with value is the wrong way to do it. I think we should start with quality. Okay. Yeah. Because we had spoilers on that last one. So we're just going <laughs> to start with quality. What would you think of the quality? Quality was not good. Yeah. Um, the atmosphere, the venue, the, you know, your dining experience, top notch, I think. Um, but the quality of the food was not good. Um, it was the bad. taste was not good. Like, it's just so sad how I really want to like this buffet, but it's just so hard to find one food that actually, like, stood out. Yeah, it was not good. It was not good. Um, I'm trying to think of maybe one dish that was decent. The macaroni and cheese was actually probably the best thing. I think I even had seconds of that. Yeah, it was like a cheddar and shells type thing, and it was the best macaroni of any of the buffets. But it, overall, yeah. And then after the fact, my stomach wasn't feeling good. Yeah, yeah. I, I, my stomach was feeling super weird last night. Yeah. Also, you did get a ravioli, which were super tough. They, they were terrible. They were mushroom <laughs> raviolis, and they were really bad. Yeah. Um, so yeah, quality of food was not good. I would say I'm giving. You can tell me what you think about this. Four for quality. Quality is four. Four, yeah. It was yeah. really not good. I, it's high rated, which weirds me out. Maybe it was an off day. I don't know. It was bad. It was bad. What can I say? And um, I think I got a sirloin steak. That it was hard. Yeah, we got some footage. It was super time. tough to actually cut into. I know I didn't use like the steak knife. Because I don't think they had a steak knife. Maybe yeah. I should ask for it. But they didn't provide us with any steak knife so I just got it with my regular knife and it was super tough so yeah that's super super sad um, yeah. okay and then um, next up we have uh, value value I would give it it was $25 a person like all the other buffets except it was just, it was just bad like so therefore we cannot give it the value score Obviously, because it was five. Yeah, four or five. Four or five. Well, looks, I, I'd say a five. Uh, we'll give it a five. Uh, and then for variety, um, variety is probably like a six. It, it wasn't that. Yeah, much. it was average. We'll give it a six. Less than uh, GSR for sure. Way less than GSR. But on par with pretty much everyone else. So maybe actually a seven. I think because it was like an average variety. Okay. We'll give it a seven. We gave Jason an eight because it's slightly above average. This is a seven. It's average. Whereas, and then if you've been to Bacchanal, Bacchanal would be like a ten because they have yeah. massive variety. So for base, if that's the baseline, yeah, I think seven is fair. Okay. Um, and then venue actually was probably my favorite mm-hmm. of the, of the buffets. The venue is very nice. It's not super bright. It's dim. It's Quieter. You're not near a casino, no smoke. Um, yeah, and it was just nice. It felt like yeah, you were having a nice quiet. dinner. Out. It didn't feel like you're eating at a buffet. Yeah. It feels like you're, you're, you're eating at like a steakhouse. Or yeah, like yeah. And, and our server was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really good awesome. service. So for venue, we give it like eight. Yeah. Did we say eight? Eight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll give it an eight. We'll give it an eight. All right. So recapping. Quality four. <laughs> it's getting dark here. Sorry, folks. Um, quality four. Yeah. Value. Value. Five. five. That's nine. Um, Variety seven. Uh, six. Seven. Seven. I think seven because I think it's average. Right? Okay. Sixteen. And then venue is eight. eight for venue. Yes, yeah, so so it's twenty-four. Out of four. Twenty-four out of forty. Yeah, so... Sadly... El Dorado's food just failed us. Yeah. The venue was great. We enjoyed going. But, man, what a letdown of a meal. Yeah. 
we will not give the stem of approval no. for this one, sadly. Um, but yeah, but maybe you guys will give it a try and maybe they have a, a you know, you, you go on a good day. Yeah. And maybe they're, they're or maybe they're, maybe they do, because I know a lot of buffets do like seafood Saturday or something. Maybe yeah, their ribs, seafood Saturday is yeah. amazing and we just drop the ball on going. But I feel like if you're a buffet that's decent, you should always be decent. Yeah. So, anyway. All right, and uh, the meal that we just had, the last one, was Peppermill. Pepper and uh, The Island Buffet. Island Buffet, which is weird because it's kind of like trees and stuff inside. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird. I mean, I don't mind the decor, but it's a little odd. Um, okay, quality. What do you think? I don't know if um, I don't know if it was as good as GSR, but I actually was super surprised because last last night was a letdown, so I didn't have like high expectation. I wasn't really like up for it. I mean, obviously I'm, we had like buffet like two nights in a row, so I'm, like it was getting like third one. <laughs> so I was kind of like buffeted out for a while, but we did it anyways. And I was actually surprised. Yeah, I would say quality not as good as GSR, yeah. but way out of El Dorado. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, even though it was a third day in a row of a buffet, and I was not excited for this meal at all, uh, I was pleasantly was, surprised with yeah. the food, the quality of the food. Yeah, so I would say uh, seven. Quality seven. I think. Quality seven. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, next up is value. Uh, again, given it was twenty five dollars a person, yeah, roughly. Uh, quality slightly less than GSR, so but way more than yeah. So I think uh, I think I'm good with a seven for uh, seven good. value as well. It's just kind of average value. Uh, you can feel good about dining there. Um, variety. They have a pretty good selections, I feel like. I thought it was on par with El Dorado and even Atlantis. I think they're all kind of similarly sized. Yeah, but I think Atlantis have the Mongolian. Yes, Atlantis place. is slightly bigger, for sure. Yeah. I still don't think they're as big as DSR. No. But Atlantis would be bigger than El Dorado and Pepper. I think El Dorado and Pepper are almost exactly uh, the same size. Probably. Same Very size. similar. They size. didn't have any like made to order um, stalls or anything like that. Yeah, so. that was kind of a letdown for me. Uh, but if we gave uh, um, El Dorado a 7, I think we have to give Pepper Mill a 7 as well. Yeah. In variety. Because it's just very Because they're just very similar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and then venue. venue. What did you think about the venue? The venue was a little bit weird. It feels like you're inside, like, an aquarium. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Because everything is just so blue, and it's just, like, it's kind of, like, dark. Mirrors all over the ceiling. Mirror all over, yeah. yeah it's but dark. then they have these weird trees that yeah. things that aren't very good. So dark is not because of the lighting was dimmed. It was because of, like, the surrounding. Like, it's surrounded with, like, rocks and yeah. trees and stuff like that. So... They kind of give like the vibe of um, what is that restaurant? Rainforest uh, Cafe. Rainforest Cafe. Yeah, but the Rainforest Cafe is different way than it. Oh, okay. <laughs> this this is like the low budget, low <laughs> low budget Rainforest Cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but you know, honestly, I it don't mind it. Yeah, quiet. it's quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, again a little dimmer. I always appreciate a dimmer environment. The service was good. Service was good. Service was super good to a point that even when you only drink like two sips of your tea and yeah, water, you will whatever. perpetually have a full glass <laughs> of whatever you're drinking. Yeah. yeah, this actually was pretty much an all of them, I think. They were all very good about that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like the venue. I didn't like it as much as El Dorado, but I liked it better than GSR. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a seven for venue. So pretty much average across the board. That's yeah. four sevens, um, which gives it a 28. Um, yeah, and I think that aligns perfectly with our feelings. Yeah. GSR was best, 
uh, we think, what was that, like 30 points? Like 30 something, yeah. Yeah, El Dorado, 24 points, and we're giving Pepperville 28. Um, yeah. So if you, based off of our experience, and there might be other hidden gems that aren't appearing on uh, Yelp and Google, because clearly those aren't necessarily reliable places for information. Sure. Because GSR, which wasn't in the top three, but for us, was, was definitively yeah. the best, I think, of the ones we went to. Um, so if there's any other ones that you're aware of that maybe we need to hit up, let us know in the comments below. Uh, next time we come to Reno, we'll definitely check them out. Um, but I think uh, if, if you're planning a trip to Reno and you're picking out a buffet to eat at, I think GSR is the, the option. Yeah. Super good. Um, so GSR get our approval in Peppermill. Oh, Peppermill's going to get the approval too? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, this was kind of a long-winded uh, buffet review. Yeah. Uh, but we hope you learned something from it uh, and, you know, enjoyed it. And uh, let us know what you think. If you have differing opinions, uh, maybe we missed some special thing that is key to why some of the buffets were rated the way they were, uh, let us know. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, Give us a like and a sub, and uh, expect some more videos like this. Well, probably better. We're still <laughs> learning. Uh, but thanks for watching. But yeah. Well, anyways, just don't do it three buffets in a row like we did. Um, I don't think I'm going to eat for the next week. <laughs> yeah. We're going to eat like green smoothie every day. Yeah, chaos smoothies all around. All detox. Um, yeah. I guess um, this is it for this video. Okay. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.